go, 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 Yes, you do have on your head. You showing them? You gonna put it on your head? And show them? <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> nice. What's going on, you guys? Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chrissy J. I do invite you to subscribe for good vibes because I think you're gonna love it here. If you're a returning subscriber, then you guys already know the drill. Welcome back to another vlog. He does like his bed. What it do? What the business here? Happy Monday. The girl is alive and she is well. Yes, we are. So we are tackling going back to daycare, y'all. So today is day number one. Praying to God. Okay. Please. Please don't let my baby get sick. Amen. I just really hope that we can get through this week um, with no issues. I mean, obviously she still has her cough. Like that's not, you know, going anywhere right now. But she's not like contagious with anything. Um, her nose wasn't running when she woke up this morning. Or like all over her face dried up and stuff. So hopefully it's clearing out. I hate that it's clearing out. And then she's going back into the rupture. But I'm just hoping and praying. You know what I'm saying? God protect my baby. Keep my baby healthy. Like, she has to eat enough. Her little poor immune system is just fighting. I need to put some lip gloss on. Yeah. Mommy packed you a nice good lunch, okay? You got some options up in there, girl. Your teacher gonna be like, dang. And, and feed my baby all of it, okay? Because Rain been eating since she been home. And I'm like, ooh. I need to actually pack her a lot of stuff. Yeah, you did. You was eating. You was eating, boo, since you've been home, boo. Eating up. So we went to BJ's yesterday, but I forgot my memory card. Did I leave my um, lip gloss on? I forgot my memory card. Um, I'm going to have to eat trains. I forgot my memory card in my laptop, so I wasn't able to vlog at all. And then we hurried up and dropped the food off. At my mom, um, at our house, um, because we ran back to my mom's so I could try on the pants. So yeah, I had to run back to my mom's to try on the pants because she hemmed them. Couldn't, you can't even tell that she did it. Like she split the seams and then we sewed it or whatever. I couldn't even tell that she did it. I could tell the difference in like the fit and everything, but I couldn't see where she split it or anything. So yes, my mom is good with that sewing machine. I was telling her like, oh my goodness, they, they don't make grandmas like you no more. Like I am the new generational grandma and um, yeah, I need to take some home making classes for real. I need to learn how to sew. Like I need to go to my mom's house, spend some time with her. Just spend some time with her period, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I don't spend enough time with my mom. And you know, she's at her old, older ages and these are her golden years where you know, it's like, how much longer are you gonna have your mom? You know, like I hope and pray my mother can live and dwell into her 100s, but you know, it's just kind of like, uh, I need to really not let, let life keep me so occupied and busy for the things that really matter. Um, so that is definitely one of my priorities. It's just kind of take time out a little more and spend some one-on-one -on -one time with my mom, you know? Like every time I'm with her, I have the kids with me or, you know, I just never have her like by myself enough. Excuse me. So, y'all look out for that. We're going to be hanging out with my mom a little more. She is a homebody though. She has definitely become a homebody. But even if I just go over there and just hang out with her, you know. So, um, but yeah, I want her to teach me how to sew because I feel like it's something that every woman should know how to do you know even if you don't know how to like use a machine i need to learn how to at least even just like sew something together you know like i could figure out how to sew a button on but it ain't gonna come out looking good so yeah 
um, I'm gonna stop at the CVS. It's 808, I have enough time because I need to get another repair kit for my camera. When we use a flip screen so much up and down, up and down, it loosens up the screws. And so last night the screw popped out. So I need to, um, I need to get another one so I can screw the mirror, the um, screen. Cause right now I'm, I have to hold the screen and the, and the camera together so that it doesn't slide all over the place. But yeah, y'all, the gym is about to open soon. I think it's coming like early fall. Um, I asked somebody on like the next door app, and she was saying her husband um, did some work in there, like the AC units or something. It was like apartments in or whatever. And she's like, I don't think it's gonna be ready to like fall. So I'm like, that'll be perfect. If it could be ready after my solo trip, that's perfect. Like I wanna start the gym routine in October. I feel like I'm doing good with walking. I'm feeling good getting up in the morning, doing my little rhythm, even though today I didn't, because we've definitely been out of our routine for the last two weeks since Rain's been home. But, um, you know, I still mentally am there and I want to get back into it. So tomorrow, I'm going to get up, go walking, you know. Um, all this week, y'all, it's just going to be just last minute um, preps for my trip. Usually, I would be doing like, you know, maintenance and stuff like that, going to get my nails done and eyelashes put on and all of that good stuff, but I'm not doing it here. So y'all not gonna see that um, before I leave. I am gonna go get my nails and my feet done when I get there though. So like on Thursday, um, when we get from the airport, we're gonna drop my sister off to the hotel and then Sean and I are going to um, check into our room and we're going to go get our nails and feet done and then um just you know hang out from there just him and i and just you know figure out what we're gonna do just take it easy and just chill and then the party begins officially on friday so excited i think i want to get some lashes and i want some birthday lashes I don't usually do like big lashes y'all but I think for the birthday night all of these look kind of big though y'all like kind of long get an extra side two that I would like. They're so long. I don't do long, y'all. Like, if I know how to do makeup real good, yeah, but because I don't know how to do makeup real good, I wish I could even do these. I'm gonna have to start practicing. I'm definitely gonna have to start practicing. Ooh, I might have to go to the beauty supply store when I get there. I do need a makeup brush. I never order a makeup brush. I might just get this one just to get it. I don't have no makeup brushes. And I want to get like a a lip combo. Oh, I need a mascara. That's what I really need, a mascara. Come on, girl. like when it be flaking in your face I mean in your eyes uncensored I'm trying to about this one see I don't know about none of this I'm gonna get into it though 
I'm gonna teach myself some things. Now y'all tell me how I went in there to get one thing <clears throat> that was like eight dollars and left out with a sixty-four dollar tag. How does that happen? How? And then got a bunch of stuff I don't know nothing about y'all. Like I'm like, oh, primer. I think I need that. I think I need that when I do my makeup. Setting spray. Oh yeah, I think I, I think I see the girl spraying something after. Like I don't know nothing about none of this. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I got some. I guess you would call beginner friendly um, makeup stuff. Or I don't know. I'm gonna have to just try it out, y'all. I still got 20 minutes, so I'm still making good time to get home. What are you doing? Driving oh, boy. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm gonna tell y'all what I got, but y'all probably gonna be like, right, what? Um, if I got anything that was unnecessary or whatever, I'll just take it back because ain't no point of me sitting on stuff. I'm mad I, I purchased that brush set though. I definitely, um, meant to order me one, but I guess it's okay, whatever, it is what it is, <coughs> I really wanted like a foundation brush, because <coughs> right now, I'm using the, the beauty blender, but whatever, it is what it is, alright, head at home to start this work day, y'all, it's a Monday, so, it's cool, I think I'm a, um, try to finish editing the vlog and I'm not gonna wait till six I'm gonna just get it up whenever it's done because I did most of it I want to say it's 90% done so I'm gonna say to do like a thumbnail in the last two clips but I was just falling asleep last night I was getting really tired I actually wanted to go to bed early because I thought that it was gonna be a little hard for us to get up in the morning and it wasn't it really wasn't so but I didn't get up early enough to go um walking or anything so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start this day. So, I'll hit y'all back later. Alright, y'all. Let me show y'all what I got from CVS. <clears throat> Some 60-something dollars. Let me tell you, that's why I'm not like a beauty girl, girl because so much money on facial products. Like, what? Okay. So, yeah, I know. What in the world? <laughs> That's how you know I'm new at this because wet and wild. Didn't I sell it? Don't they sell it at the dollar store? It was only three dollars and fifty cents. I was like, oh, that kind of a uh, price. So I don't know nothing about this, but it's also wet and wild glass correct primer, um, color palette. I thought the neutrals was cool, and then I got this CoverGirl um, stretch and strengthen mascara. So. I definitely am here for the stretch. We'll see if that works. And then I saw this black opal. I don't know if that's pronounced like that or black OPL. But, you know, we'll give it a shot and see what's up with it. Look, gloss, I guess, thick. And then I got the makeup mist and set. So, e.l.f. I like e.l.f. products. And then y'all saw me pick this up face and eye brush set. So, yeah. I don't know about that, but. You know, it'll get the job done. So, this little bit of stuff, y'all. Sixty-four dollars and change. What? And then the um, eyeglass uh, thing I got for the screen. Yeah, this is why I'm not a makeup girl. Like, what is this? That was definitely a pair of shoes. I'm a shoe girly all day. Y'all, they are so loud back here. Let me open up these windows. <clears throat> Construction is officially underway. Stuff. 
<sighs> All right, so I'm about to get in here and just clean up a little bit. <clears throat> um, I just kind of, I actually was 10 minutes late to work today because I forgot my water jug, which is not like me. And I remember I had no ice. So I was like, ooh, y'all know I can't do that. So I had to um, come back home, get my cup and go get ice. I'm getting ready to fold up my blankets and stuff. And just straighten up a little bit. Kaden did the kitchen this morning, so it's nice and clean. I just need to put the air fryer away from last night. And then the sweep, because there's some trash right there on the floor. Picking up a penny with a press on It's easier than holding you down Can't be any harder than holding you up now I said to come clean I said to be willis To be willis Probably true what they say about me Probably came from my inner circle and Usually come from your inner circle or lack thereof And I don't know who I can trust I've been dropping out, said I've been hanging out with my high friends And we too stoned to pay attention now I mean, really, it's same me, it's old me You know, same shit I've been on the low-key Grinding, grinding, grind Learning on the low-key Shining, trying to keep to myself But you bring me out to character Every time again She that Gina, she that Gina Them jeans, they must be uptight, mama And you need some gift, why, mama? She go Gina, she go Gina She go get that gift, why, mama? She go Gina, she go Gina She go till you get right I belong to nobody, hope it don't bother you Or you can mind your business I belong to nobody, try not to disturb her Mind my business It works for me, it works for me, no Say go Gina, say go Gina It works for me, it works for me, no Say go Gina, say go Gina Look who I got how was your day, baby? Good. Good? No, you're not getting any snacks. Your teacher said all you ate were your snacks. You didn't eat any of your food. Okay? So, no. No treat. Huh? No, you don't need your backpack, baby. You can wait till we get home. I need to be washed anyways. She kind of anyway. <coughs> anyway. Pick baby girl up, headed back home now. And I'm gonna go home, take this off because I slept in it and been in it all day. Okay, moving about the place, like you know, but it's actually real cool. I like it a lot. I'm gonna probably go online and order a couple more colors. Hopefully, they have different colors. It is a uniform. Y'all did such a good job on her hair. Try to J-Bird your hair, baby. Bend your hair down. It's so pretty. Did a good job, y'all. See what you can do when you put your mind to it. I was like, I'm gonna be gone for five days. I don't want my mom not to worry about her hair. I want it to last. I'm gonna try my take my time and do it neat. Also, it makes a big difference because I don't have on any nails, y'all. So it's when I get my nails, it's hard for me to grip her hair like I need to. So I'm definitely gonna get some nails put on for my birthday, but I might um after my birthday set, I might go back to like a short nail just so I can do it a little better. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely gotta have short nails to cornrow. But yeah, I'm gonna wash this because I think this is gonna pretty much be like my little, um, yep, yeah, my little lounge wear for like when we're in the Airbnb and stuff. And then when I'm in the room, I'll just change into my night clothes. So I think I'm gonna pack this and probably like another little lounge set for the house just so I could be, you know, appropriately dressed because there is another male in the home other than Sean, so. But all right, y'all, I'll check back in with you guys when I get home. Y'all, this is just a check-in, okay? <sighs>
finally after over a year that's so sad my video are uploading in hd finally now if we can just get this clicking noise to go away because so many people vlog with this damn camera and their camera is not doing it so the only thing i could think of is i dropped it um and maybe it did something i don't know but it's so annoying does it annoy y'all the way it annoys me i don't know thought about that because no one's ever said anything in the comments but man when i'm editing it drives me insane anyway this girl at Rain's daycare um one of her like teacher teacher assistants she had her nails done today they were really pretty and i was like oh what did you nail and she was like my homegirl does nails i was like wait i'm here her phone up here <laughs> so she gave me her phone number i'm probably gonna hit her up when I get back. I only think about like those type of um nail techs is that like in their house you gotta pay a deposit. You know what I'm saying? It's just real it's just real difficult sometimes but <clears throat> I'ma try it out. I've never tried that way before and I wear my support in a small business, a small girl doing her thing on her hustle so i'll probably try that out when i get back but i'm just chilling work is slow y'all i went from 54 cases open to four your girl was putting in that work okay oh i be working oh i be working so i got four cases i wanted to clear my cases out before i go on vacation I have nine minutes left. So my cousin called me and told me she's not gonna be able to make my birthday trip. So that's unfortunate. Um, but you know, the show must still go on. I ain't had much of an appetite, so this is my dinner. Mangoes and thyme. You wanna see me, mommy? And some vinegar. Huh? All right, now that I can see you. She want y'all to see her cooking. What you cook? Tell her what you cooking, baby. I'm cooking tomato. Mmm. You want to see that? Break it in half. Now let's cook. Go ahead. You gonna cut it? They can see you, baby. Cut. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know how to cut it and you, and you clip it in, in tomato? Did you ever see a picture I sent you earlier? Look. On the phone pad? You, you twist it. I saw it. Yeah. And I said, You want a problem? You got a problem? And I said, What am I supposed to be looking at? And then my phone died. It's over the chair. You got a problem? Like four, five, six, um, you want to see it? I thought, I thought you um, sent me that and then I didn't respond because my phone was kept dying. No, no, and then no, you no, said, no, no, no. You got a Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you got, I'm going to make a meme out of it. Will you get a smile? Mm -hmm. So now I am actually getting a little hungry. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and eat something before it gets too, too late. And I remembered we bought some chicken yesterday. And being that we're leaving in a few days, I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to go ahead and stick a piece in the air fryer. Oh boy, but yeah, <sighs> I'm winding down, y'all. And before I start stressing up, 
I just need to make sure I make really good use of my time because we're winding down. Oh, I want to make sure we keep the house clean. I was even thinking about possibly leaving work early on Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. He's in the garage and he's on the phone, right? Go back upstairs. Okay, well, then you're going to stay down here then. You're not getting a dessert. Go upstairs. Okay, well, give me that iPad. Give me that iPad if you're going to cry. Pick up your microphone off that floor if I throw in the trash. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and end the night. I'm sorry, it was choppy from the last scene, but Rain came down here and was distracting me. <clears throat> so, yeah. The countertop is gonna stay just like that till tomorrow. Cause it's 9.37. I need to be in the bed by 10 o'clock. So, <sighs> I'm getting ready to lay it down. I did read my chapter today, so I don't have to read anything. I'm just gonna catch up on maybe a vlog. I don't think I'm gonna be able to watch all the girls because I need to go to bed. All right, for all this time, I'm getting ready to go ahead and end the vlog. I think I'm gonna end the vlog. I was wondering if I was gonna um, combine today with tomorrow. <sighs> Y'all. I'm getting worn out. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. I'll be glad when Vader is over. Part of me is like, dang, I should have ended it. The, the, I should have made the last vlog the day I leave for my trip, which would have been Thursday. Because I feel like I'm gonna force content, like, you know. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. And I'll pick you guys back up tomorrow. And we'll come back tomorrow with this vlog, so... Good night. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. Happy Tuesday. The girl is alive and she is well. Okay. Uh, I have a little headache, but that's to be expected. Um, today should be my last day of my cycle. So I usually get headaches before, during, or after. So I felt a little slight headache like the first day and then now, you know, it is what it is. So I am not going to try to let it linger and I'm going to try to knock it out when I get home. So I'm going to go to Starbucks this morning, get me a coffee and some egg white bites so I can have something on my stomach. And then when I get home, I'm going to take two Tylenol and hope that it will go right away because... I need to be productive today. Like I need to do my hair. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna do all this and work, but hopefully work won't be so busy um, today. We'll see. We'll have to play it by ear. Yes, baby. You wanna say hi? Say hi, Jaybirds. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god, that is such a cute camera. Oh, thank you. I vlog. Oh, thank really? You. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Alright, y'all. And we're off with the goods. That was a really fast um, Starbucks transaction. Thank God. It's 8.24. And now I'm headed to go get my eyes. Y'all, it feels so good outside right now. Oh my gosh. It's like teasing me just a little bit. I'm over the um, heat, to be honest. I'm over summer. I'm ready for fall. Fall is my absolute favorite. I'm ready for a nice, cool breeze, sweater weather. What a hoodie. I love it. Love it. That's my absolute favorite. Ugh. Yeah, so this winter sean and i were talking um trying to come up with some things we're gonna do as a family some little fun trips and stuff so y'all stay tuned we think we're gonna do um 
We're definitely gonna do like a camping trip at some point. We wanna do like a Smoky Mountains maybe or something like that. I think that'll be fun for the kids. And um, I always, let me roll these windows up because I know y'all probably can't even hear me. Ever since I was very young, very young, um, first of all, I thought I was Punky Brewster. Start there. So I I loved me some Punky Brewster, okay? I'm talking about I used to go to school with my little two different um, Chuck Taylors and everything. Like, I, you couldn't tell me I wasn't Punky Brewster. So I wanted to be Punky Brewster, and um, I wanted to have a treehouse so bad. I always wanted a treehouse. And um, there's a spot in Georgia somewhere, I forgot the name of the town, but they have tree houses that you can rent out for, you know, like hot hotels. So we are going to get a tree house and stay in a tree house, y'all. Like ultimate, ultimate bucket list check off. <laughs> I'm still a real big kid at heart. I told y'all in a couple of vlogs back. I don't want to grow up because I'm a Toys R Us kid. I'm so for real about that. Like, I am truly like a kid at heart. You know how when you get older in life, but you don't feel like you're getting older? Like, you feel like you still have the same everything. You know, like, I'm just still... I feel like I'm still just as goofy as I was in my 20s and my teens. I feel like I'm just still, you know, if we could just get the energy that I had that I don't have sometimes to match, we'll be good to go. But that's gonna come as weight loss falls off. So I'm not even gonna be too hard on myself. Cause when I had the surgery, the VSG surgery, and lost uh, like almost 60 pounds, I would go up and down the steps twice and not even feel out of breath at all. Like it was bomb. I could talk and not feel like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? So I just can't wait to get back to that. Like I can't wait to get that, but it's coming. It is coming. It is coming, said God. All right, let me go ahead and get my ice, and I, I'll probably. What are you doing? I'll probably um turn y'all back on when I get to the house. Y'all, we're gonna pray that today is a very slow day at work because I completely forgot I have to edit the vlog. So I'm gonna try to get started on that now, and um, yeah. Almost over. I was stalking that trash. <coughs> <coughs> they um <coughs> they came to pick up the trash and we had one more bag that we need to go out. So I was like, Kayla, run out there and give it to the man. So whew, I got all the trash out because I don't want no trash left behind since we're gonna be gone for like five days oh y'all i need to wash my hair real quick on my little 15 minute break so i could do it and i'll pick rain up at um three o'clock well I'm taking my lunch at three o'clock i'm picking her up at like 3 30. oh lord i'm at the wash it in the kitchen sink Thankfully, it's slow today. I closed out like all of my cases. 
Um, set for four. So all I need to do really is um, <clears throat> all I need to do really is do my trainings. I need to do my trainings. So I'm gonna go ahead and oil my hair up real quick. Put y'all on. I don't even know what I can put y'all on because I'm gonna. I'm just going to oil it up down here and then I'm going to go back up to my office and retwist it. I don't know where my mirror is. So I'm going to have to do it without one. Use this wild growth hair oil. vitamin E. <clears throat> Just move it around in there. Alright. Alright. So that should be good on that. Let's go upstairs. This is the uh, jean sale that they were having. They were having a um, buy one, get one free, I think it was. Yeah, buy one, get one free. I'm done my hair, not too sure how it came out, but it's gonna have to do. For some reason, this vlog is not uploading in HD. I don't know why the settings are correct. Obviously gonna be too hot and testing for these. I got these for the fall. Yeah. Some fall trips planned. <clears throat> I had my eye on this for the longest time. And they hit me and said it was available. I was like, mm -hmm. So this is like this little jacket. Mm -hmm. So cute. I figured this would be really cute with some black leather pants and some knee boots. Maybe some brown knee boots. Sean um, ordered me a Marc Jacob bucket bag for my birthday. So it'll be here by the time we get back from Texas. So I thought that would be really, really cute. And then... This one, which is super cute 
as well. That's what I could wear like as a dress. Because it's long. But I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll try it on and see. But the model had it on as a dress. But y'all know I'm tall, so I might not be able to. But it's still real cute. Y'all really be trying. Let me let me let me let me clear y'all up. I really be trying to be nice. I cannot stand telemarketers. Like I just am shocked that in this day and age, people still do that for a living. Like I'm like y'all still hire and people still apply and people still accept jobs as telemarketers. I don't know. It's just. One of them things where I'm like, wow. Because to me, I feel like everyone is super annoyed with telemarketers. Like, don't nobody want nobody that they don't know calling their phone, trying to sell them something or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the most annoying thing ever. Just like salesmen coming knocking on your door. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Um, so it's just odd to me that people will do it for a living. I'm like, the people who are telemarketers, do y'all get annoyed with people telemarketing y'all? Because, I don't know how. The moment, hi, this is, I'm like, click, like, come on. Oh, goodness. And then it kills me when they get my name wrong. Hi, Krista. Um, no, ma'am. Like, what? You starting off all wrong. Even if I was to be open for whatever you selling, you got my dad on name. You can't even have the decency to make sure you got my name right. Or oh, they'll just call me straight by my last name. No, that's not that's not my name. That's my last name. Like, mm, but anywho, um, getting ready to go pick up baby girl, and I have to rush back, which I don't want to do. Like I really. I'm gonna take my time on my lunch break. Oh, I'm not back in you, sir. Hold on. Let me go. Excuse me, because you can't you can't go to work. Um Yeah, traffic is starting to pick up, so I don't know. I wanted to like grab something to eat. I'm just kinda like, mm. I'm gonna try to see if I can squeeze it, but anywho, um I don't feel that great today. I took some Tylenol. So my headache did go away, but now that my hair is all twisted and tight and got these pins all over the place, I feel a little headache coming back. And I don't want to take any more Tylenol. So I really don't like taking medicine like that to begin with. But I might have to. And then, um, Caden's home school director, it's <sighs> that lady, that poor lady. I know that she's overwhelmed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's just her doing everything. Um, she has the help of her son. Like, he runs to the post office and stuff for her. But as far as I get in the pack, it's not together. For the majority of, the of, of it, it's her. Um, she's the one responding. You know, she might have her little help, but she's the main person, the main go-to. And with school starting back up, um, I have been trying to get Caden's uh, paperwork, his documents ahead of time and she um messaged me today saying his binder is ready to get picked up and i'm like okay i don't remember her address you know like i only been to her house one time the other time his binder was mailed to us so i'm just like hey can you remind me where and everything is like going through email because when i call her it doesn't ring it just hangs right up and then when i call the other number for her the voicemail is full it goes straight to voicemail like she has her phone turned off so i'm just like here we go it's gonna be another couple days but hopefully she'll respond today but i'm just like i don't want to wait another couple of days just to get the damn address like i want to be able to like get his work so he could be not idle around the house you know especially when he goes to my mom's like he needs to be doing his work oh deep breath in and deep breath out y'all that's all i could do deep breath in and deep breath out okay so i'm just gonna hope for the best hopefully she'll respond to my email today because come on in i was like let me come on here and talk to y'all for a little bit before i shut it down because 
It is 10.09. So I came, got, got off work, ran to go pick up Caden's binder because his teacher responded and said his binder was ready. So I went to go get Caden's um, binder. Came home, fed the kids. <sighs> Tried to finish packing like majority of my stuff. Um, I still have some things to pack, like my toothbrush and stuff like that, but obviously I have to pack that tomorrow after I use it. And washing some last loads of clothes and gave Rain a bath. When I tell y'all, I've been non-stop since I got off work, like, whew. Now, I'm trying to wait until midnight so I can check in the flight and get a decent seat for Sean and I. So I'm gonna be up taking these out. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> I need to make use of my time tomorrow. So, am I in mental health tomorrow? I might be. I might be in mental health tomorrow. It was real chill yesterday and today at work. Real chill. So, I can appreciate that. <clears throat> I want to say I'm in mental health tomorrow too. Which should be cool. But I'm only in there like half a day. So, I have to make use of my time. You know, and get some stuff done in the house. I wanna, like I told y'all, um, when we're done, when we leave, I wanna come back to the house clean. So I need to clean my office, cause it's a mess. I've been in here, I got pins all over the place. And, oh, well, let me show y'all these sandals I got. I'm so irritated, y'all. First of all, I don't even remember when I ordered them, but I already told y'all how I feel about Amazon. Cause Amazon be lying. First of all, they taking my money. Like, $17, I think it is. Um, for the prime a month and y'all are not giving me prime like they'll say if you order in three hours it'll be delivered tomorrow or it'll be you know to you in two days it's not coming in two days it's not and I'm gonna stop complaining about that and then they got the audacity to sit there and say oh your order is running late if it doesn't arrive by um what does what it say the 22nd to the 23rd or no if it doesn't arrive by tomorrow um come back for a refund like no you need to refund me because it didn't arrive when it was supposed to yesterday that's how i feel like uh-uh i'm paying for prime so i'm about to have to call amazon on that because i don't like that at this point in time i need to stop paying y'all for prime because i'm not getting prime i don't watch the videos, I mean the movies and all of that stuff. Even though I heard they do have some good movies. I didn't twist this one. <clears throat> Even though I did hear they have some good movies and good sh like whatever they got shows. I don't know movies though. Um, I'm just not taking full advantage of the membership. Like I really only have Prime for the shipping, and I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. <sighs> but anyway, y'all. Uh, so. Alright. I don't know how I'm going to do my hair, y'all. But it's going to be real simple. Real simple. It's going to be something real simple. Nothing too much for my birthday. Something like that. They're taking clips out. Obviously, I have to figure it out, but y'all get my gist. It's gonna be something simple and cute, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing too much. Oh Lord. But anyway. I feel like dang, should I bring my clips and stuff just in case I need to touch it up? Cause you know. Do I have any more clips? 
up. I think I'm good. Anyway, back to these sandals. So waited, waited past time that they said it was gonna originally get to me <clears throat> for them to come today. And damn near not fit. <sighs> I'm like, I don't wear an 11. I don't even wear a 10, but the only reason why I wear a 10 is because my foot is wide. But like, when I lost weight, my my shoe size was like a nine, eight and a half, nine. I would say closer to like a nine. I open I open this box and I'm like this. Just looking at it, I'm like this ain't no ten. Y'all probably can't tell it's not showing up in the camera how big it is, but I literally looked at this and I was like, this is not a ten. Anyway, so. It fits, but it's like just fit. Like my everything just fit. So I don't know. They're gonna have to get worn though. And they they so cute, y'all. Like these are so cute. Can y'all see? They are just so freaking cute. I really like these. And I'm like, dang, I ain't gonna have time to um order another one if they would have came yesterday and would have you know came how they were supposed to to their delivery. Then I could have took the risk of ordering another pair yesterday and I would have had them by tomorrow but yeah no <sighs> so anyway I don't know if I told y'all but um, my birthday gift to myself this year was um, some airpod airpod max um, airpod pro max I don't know what they call it. I think they call it airpod airpod max I think um, I ordered the blue ones for myself, so they should be here tomorrow. It was a three-day delivery, and I'm praying to a God because, listen, um, that that ain't what's up. That ain't what's up. I can't fold them, can't do nothing with those, and I need my headphones for the plane. Like. I will never, ever, ever buy another pair of Beats. I will never recommend anybody to buy no Beats. Like, they make those piss poor quality trash. Some headphones need to be $20. Like, why y'all making them headphones like that? Like, cracking up. And I'm like, this is my second pair. And the exact same thing happened to the first one. Like, look at that. Then, these peel stick to the back of my ears and shit like that. I go to replace them online and they don't even give you the quality the same quality which is like why would you want the same ones if they do that anyway but it's just because it's like that soft leather you want you don't want no hard you know so they send you like this old bootleg ass ear pads and it takes the sound completely away like it's a completely different sound than the beats you know I don't know I'm just so sick of those headphones I'm so over it so <sighs> Anyway, I got my fair use out of those or whatever. They don't gotta worry about me again. But yeah, y'all, we, we ordered some more um, free try candies to try out. These, I wanna say these are Starburst and uh, I'm not a fan, not a fan. I'm not a fan of these. Oh, this is a woman owned company, how cute. Oh. Uh, but yeah, so far Skittles is the best so far, but I only tried those and Skittles, so whatever. But anyway, y'all, I'm real frustrated with my um, content because the other day, yesterday, I uploaded a video and I changed my settings and everything in Final Cut and it uploaded in HD. I did the exact same thing today, exact same thing today, and it's only uploading in SD. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. But anyway, I got the vlog already ready for um, Wednesday. It's short, so it's a mini vlog. with a nothing going on that day. And um, I'm gonna try to hurry up and edit this one, y'all. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it because I'm busy up in here like I need to my priority is to get the house together make sure I have everything I need I still have to pack Rain's bag um I want to clean the house so that way tomorrow at this time we go to bed 
we're gonna drop the kids off when I get off work or maybe a little earlier. I probably have Sean drop them off if anything. And we'll go to bed, get up in the morning and just be out the door. And like, I don't wanna have to do nothing. I told Sean, if you ain't ready, I'm leaving you. You're gonna have to drive your vehicle to the airport because I'm not waiting around. Like, I have been packing for days now and he still hasn't packed nothing. He ain't even asked for the suitcase. I brought the suitcase out. So, I'm like, I'm not waiting for you. I'm telling you, like, I ain't doing it. Not this trip. I be tired of waiting on him all the time. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if I told you. I don't be knowing what I shared with y'all and what I didn't. But Sean ordered my birthday present today. And it's going to our old address. So, we have to stalk the... <sighs> we got to stalk the shipping while we're away. Um, because as soon as it touched down, we're going to have to call my mom and ask her if she could drive over there and pick it up for us. So, he said he tried to call and they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't make no change. He sent me a screenshot and basically was saying, thank you for your order. Unfortunately, we're not able to like revise or cancel your order or whatever. So, I was like, that's retarded. Like, he literally called right after he placed the order. But I don't know, whatever he's doing, he's going to have to like figure out why he, why he ain't or change the address i don't know what he's doing to still have the old address but i'm gonna have to retwist these because look you see the puppy you see that mm -mm. yeah that ain't it i'm gonna have to redo these tomorrow because these are in the front that's because I'm technically I'm supposed to palm roll the lock all the way down. See the difference? I didn't do that because I was rushing, not working. But I definitely want the front to be very neat, so I need to redo those. But yeah, y'all. Uh, Let me tell y'all, the YouTube girlies are traveling. Like, they are doing their thing. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be like, dang, that's what's up. I just can't wait till my time comes. Like, I can't wait. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's some cool YouTube girls I'm sure I would, like, click with. Like, Mia is one. Ru Ruka is one. I, 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 I would love to, like, meet them and hang out with them. I feel like they'll be really cool in real life. You know, camera on or off. I feel like they probably are the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, with me, I'm sure y'all could tell, like, this is who y'all gonna get. If you were to hang out with me, this is who y'all gonna get. Like, I'm, I'm the same on and off the camera. Um... Some people aren't that way though. Some people are real cool when the camera turn off and then, I mean, real cool when the camera turn on and mean girls when the camera turn off. And, um, I don't, I don't like that. Like, <clears throat> I'm cool with hanging out with people that's, you know, influencers and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna lie, like, when I get in the next tax bracket, y'all, and my channel take off, when I really take off, I want to hang out with my subscribers. I do. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I want to hang out with y'all. I think that'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? And I want to still be relatable. Like, I don't want to just be out here throwing money all over the place, getting all kinds of surgeries, over shopping at Target every day, overdoing designer this designer that like just overdoing everything just to spend a coin like because at some point your subscribers can no longer relate to you because nobody's out buying dropping seven eight hundred dollars on luxury items every other day you know what i'm saying and um even if you have it like that that's cool but let me tell y'all the difference between black influencers and caucasian influencers and this is what irks my nerves. You know what I'm saying? Black influencers are like, they had this like Hollywood rich mentality. It's so annoying. And it, this is no hate, no, no hate at all. You can look at white influencer channels, right? That have millions of subscribers, well over 
the amount of views, you know, some of the black influencers have. And they are living their life like day to day. Like they don't they don't have to go out and show you every single luxury purchase. They don't have to, you know, go to like every I don't know. It's like they don't everything doesn't have to be like super duper hot and um they still will go to like a regular restaurant and eat. They'll still stay at a regular hotel. I mean a nice hotel, yeah, but you know. And it's like they're still very much so relatable to their audience. You know what I'm saying? Because like your audience is the reason why you're where you are. And although you're happy for who you're watching, like me, especially with Ruka, when she make it into the next tax bracket, I'm genuinely super stoked for her because I really like her authenticity. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people are who they are. It's just they can't really truly be who they want to be because they don't have the money, right? And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Some people allow money to change them. And then other people just get money and they just are who they are, who they've always been within. But now they can just really be, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like... They're still relatable to their audience, whereas the black influencers become unrelatable. And at this point in time, we literally just watch them like throw money just like it's nothing. And they don't, they don't, they're not like buying houses. They're not investing in nothing. Like they're not, you know, everything is just image, 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 image. And although they could be, some of them could be. You know what I'm saying? And they could be like, oh, well, you don't know what we're doing because we don't have to share about that. Blah, blah. But it's like, you share everything else, why not? Like, why not share, you know, an investment if you purchase a real, um, a property, if you invest in real estate or like, why not? Why not? Why not show your audience how you're saving and things like that? You know what I'm saying? Like that stuff that's still like very much so like relatable. You're giving your audience something to like, do with i don't know i don't know y'all at the end of the day listen i can't tell nobody how to be all i need to do is worry about me right and when i get there i just know that i want to still be relatable and of course you know i don't mind designer here trips there all of that good stuff that's the good life fine cool but i also want to show you know smart decisions with money like i want to show like oh i'm not just out here frivolously throwing money at target every day going to trader joe's just because the girls are doing their trader joe's shopping hauls and i'm just in there getting whatever like no you know what i'm saying like i want to be like my goal this month is to save this amount of money y'all come on let's do it together let's have saving challenges let's have this let's have that you know what i'm saying Anyway, y'all, uh, Ryan is driving me up the wall and back down again. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Really, 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 really need this vacation. I'm going to enjoy every little bit of it. Lord. I don't know to the point where I don't even want to check in. They with my mom, they good. That's how I be feeling. I'm like, I don't even want to check in. But it's all good. I put my um my time in for my solo trip at my job today and it got approved. So as soon as I get back from Houston, I'm gonna be getting ready for that trip. And then I'm gonna sit still for a little bit, bubble up some money, um, get some more stuff done in the house, and then start doing my Christmas shop and knock that out. We'll probably do like a little family trip over the winter and then um Take it from there. I don't want to plan too, too much because plans get broken. So, but anyway, y'all, that's it. I'm about to wrap up the night. Thanks for wrapping with me, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy Vader. We are wrapping it up, y'all. I don't even know if this is the last video y'all going to see for Vader or not. Oh, it might be, y'all. This might be y'all last video. Oh, I think it is. I don't know. If it is, I'm going to come back. Editing Chrissy is going to come back. And, um, send y'all off right. Y'all, we made it. We made it, y'all. It is the end of Vader. That's it. That's all. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed Veda. I actually enjoyed it as well. It was definitely a little stressful, I think, just because I had my trip going on and then, you know, rain <clears throat> with daycare, sick every two days. It was a lot. And then also, I work from home and I'm just like, ah, oh, my life is boring. When am I going to be vlogging every day? But we did it. We conquered. And <clears throat> we completed the task. So I feel good about it. Um, I'm going to edit the birthday vlogs and I'll put those out for you guys. And your girl is taking a hiatus, a much needed break. I don't know how long it's going to be. It's not going to be too, too long. But here. I'm definitely going to take a little break. So be sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys are not. Lemon8 if you like blog type posts. Threads if you're a Twitter type of gal. And if you're just a YouTuber or like YouTube, then my community posts. So I will, you know, still, you know, keep you guys updated on what I'm doing and what I'm into. I might shoot a little reel, a short, or a mini vlog out on TikTok or something like that here and there. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to take a little break. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Just wanted to send y'all off. All right. Thank y'all for rocking with your girl. Thank you so much for supporting me, subscribing. If you have not subscribed, click that button because, girl, what are you doing? Okay, when I come back, we got got things to get into. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. So, you definitely don't want to miss when I come back. Um, so, have your notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up so that it can crawl all up and through the algorithm. Okay, so we can get some new family members over here. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.